Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video will be really different from my other videos. Some of you guys have asked me if I could make a video showing you how I do my nails with my non-dominant hand. So that is actually what I'm going to do today. And it was so painful to make this video. I hope it's not as painful for you to watch. Um, but yeah, this is what I used in this video. These are the Ultra Bond Primer, the Dehydrator from Ended. This is their One Face Rose Clear Gel. This is the glitter that I will be using. It's a kind of coppery golden-ish color. I really love this glitter. And I have a matching stripe from AliExpress that I will be using. And then I have this base gel, this top gel, and this gel polish in perfect black. It's really, really a perfect black color. <laughs> So this video was a really painful video to make. I still hope you like it, but yeah, <laughs> let's go on. If you want to see how I did the nails, then just keep watching. I have already prepped my nails now, I'm just dehydrating them and priming them. And you can see how shaky I am. This is so annoying and so frustrating to watch because it was so shaky and it was so... Oh, it was so difficult, but yeah, now you guys know how I do nails with my non-dominant hand and it is not beautiful. <laughs> Here's the base gel and I would skip the base gel if I had a gel enhancement that didn't have an outgrow. Now I do have a little bit of outgrow, so that's why I'm applying the base gel. And yeah, I'm trying to be as precise as possible and not touch my cuticle, but that is so hard with the non-dominant hand. I touch the cuticle all the time, so I have to wipe away the excess and redo that like a hundred times. Here's the black color and I did apply a little bit too much of the black color so when I cured it, it actually got a little bit wrinkly um, but don't worry about that, you can just cure that a little bit longer and then apply a second thin coat and then when you top coat it, it will not be as noticeable at all so it doesn't really matter, you just have to cure it completely. So you can see how shaky I am and this is actually the double speed because I'm so slow when I'm doing my right hand like I'm really slow <laughs> so yeah <laughs> then I just cure that in 30 seconds in the LED lamp and apply a second coat I don't know if you can see but you can there is definitely some wrinkliness on this nail Now for the glitter, I will use this One Face Rose Clear Gel to adhere it to. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer throughout the whole pinky nail. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit on the ring finger as well because I want to some glitter onto the black nail too. I'm just going to apply this clear gel where I want the glitter. This is the glitter that I will be using and I'm just taking a little bit and pouring it into the lid. That way it will be a lot easier for me to pick it up and to clean it up. <laughs> so I'm taking another brush and I'm just patting the glitter on my nail. And I'm trying to make this surface as flat as possible because when we encapsulate this with clear gel we don't want any of this glitter to be lumpy so that when we file the shape of the nail we don't want to file away the glitter we want it to be really really thin here I'm applying also at the ring finger and then I am perfecting the glitter with a cuticle pressure and I know this looks really really funny but if, but if you watch <laughs> my YouTube videos you know that I do this and it works really well so yeah, this is a perfect way to perfect the glitter, otherwise if you're using a brush, it's not really going to help that much, you're just going to have glitter everywhere, so this is really the best solution, I would say. <laughs> and then I cure that for 2 minutes in the UV lamp, and then I seal everything with a thin layer of clear gel. Now notice that I'm applying two layers of clear gel on my pinky 
and that's because I'm completing the nail lift. When I'm done with the gel on this pinky, then it's done. <laughs> But with the ring finger, I will also apply some stripes. That's why I'm just gonna encapsulate it once and then I will cleanse, buff, and apply some stripes. Here is the stripe that I will be using. It's a matching stripe to the glitters. It's kind of a coppery color. And I'm just taking a large piece and then placing it where we want it to be on the nail, obviously. And I want it to be close to the glitter um, to make it look sleek and perfect. So as you can see, this is the application that I did. And I did the same thing on the other side. And that's it. So this is why I only encapsulated the glitter once because we're going to be applying another layer of gel on top of this to encapsulate the stripes as well. When the gel is cured, I just cleanse the nails and I just file them until they are the shape that I want them to be. And the more things you apply to your design, like a glitter stripe, the thicker the nails are. So I really wanted them to be as thick as each other. I mean, I wanted them to be the same thickness, but it was really difficult. So the ring finger is obviously a little bit thicker, but I don't really mind that. Last but not least, I top coat with my Madame Glam top gel and you can see I'm so shaky, it's painful to watch. So this is the final result, I hope you guys liked this video even if it was a little bit painful to watch, I hope you enjoyed it after all and I had a really good time filming this even though it was a little bit annoying. Um, if you want to see more of my videos then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one, bye!